Hi, my name's Emily and I make videos about motherhood, minimalism and Montessori. This video is part of my toy series where I review open-ended and Montessori inspired toys. Today we are looking at the Sensor Play Kit from Love Every. We've had this play kit for eight months now. We got it when Freddy was teeny tiny and he's actually 10 months old today. So we've had time to give it a really good trial run. I'm gonna take you back to the day where we got it, give it an unboxing, first impressions, and then update you on how we've used the items and what we think of them now. Okay, today we are going to be unboxing our first Love Every play kit. You hear some squeaking next to me. I've got my little two month old man lying right here and hopefully he'll let me get through this without too many interruptions, but it is what it is. So this is our first Love Every kit and this is our month five to six play kit called The Sensor. I purchased this from Love Every's website. I chose to purchase it through the gift option rather than the subscription option. Because I had to get the parcel forwarded to Australia, I had no idea what the eventual cost would be. So I didn't want to lock myself into a subscription first thing. I also chose something that's a little bit in advance of Freddie's current age because I wasn't sure how long it would take to get here. As it turned out, it was like a week, which is great, uh, but I didn't want to choose something for his current age and then you know, miss that window of optimum time. So, usually I think Love Every are just packaged in their cardboard box and closed with paper tape from what I've seen online. However, because I had this forwarded, it's wrapped in about 14 layers of sticky tape, covered with a cardboard lid and then on the back there is a timeline of when these items are supposed to be used. This kit, even though it's a little bit in advance of Freddie's age, he's currently two months, was what drew me to Love Every when I saw it online, particularly because of the magic tissue box. It came to mind because my older child, Violet, who's 28, nearly 29 months old, is obsessed with containment, so I think that she would currently still really love that and I liked the look of the spinning drum which is another Montessori material that we that we don't own and then I had a few other items in there that I was keen to have a look at as well so let's dive in all love every play kits come with the play guide so you've got an explanation of the activities you've got the items themselves laid out more activities suggested which is great um, and then some stuff about this particular stage of baby's development so there here there's a section on introducing solid food which I'm keen to read we did baby lead weaning first time around and I expect that we'll do the same thing there's probably not anything in there that's that's new information but if you're a first-time parent that could be really helpful all right the items I think we'll go in order of what they suggest for the age range so the first up is the book. Now the books were another aspect of Love Every that I really wanted to look at because part of Montessori is choosing things that have more realistic illustrations or pictures rather than cartoons. And we don't adhere to that with books particularly. We have, I don't know, probably at least 100 books and only a small proportion of them are realistic because I don't want to miss out, my children to miss out on the amazing stories that exist. And even in our local Montessori school, they use non-realistic stories. But I think that this is a really excellent way to introduce basic concepts and we all know that babies love looking at faces. That's one of their first sort of learning opportunities. Look, Love Every, if you look through their play kits, they have a really strong commitment to diversity. So it's wonderful to see that they are all um, different children represented in this book. You've got yeah, all, all different range of appearances, which is you know, representative of what we see in our human population. And it's a really, really simple book, but it looks like it's gonna be very durable, and I think that's gonna be enjoyed by both my kids. The second item is this rainbow ball. So this is sort of a little pumpkin shape, and it's divided into segments with the spectrum of the colors of the rainbow, which obviously we are big fans of any kind of rainbow. Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. I don't know whether that's gonna be a hit or not. It's cute though. Next up was one of the items I'm most excited about, which is the magic tissue box. I mean, it's a, it's a bit weird looking. It's really solid and really durable, and I love that the bottom is attached with magnets. I reckon Violet, my two-year-old, is gonna be able to do this herself. Inside, you've got a collection of cotton handkerchief kind of things, tissues that are attached together. I'm not sure whether it's come joined up or not. I'll have a look and see if it pulls out. Okay, you gotta stuff the back in to fit the bottom up. So if I start pulling them out, 
they're not quite joined together but oh no some of them are so they should keep pulling and be sort of this perpetual tissue box which you know babies and tissue boxes toilet rolls anything that you don't want them to empty they're gonna empty it so this is cool I really really like this and I think I'm gonna give Violet a turn with this even though little Freddy is not old enough to do much with it just yet next are our play socks I saw these online as well and I was like, that is a, a really funky idea. It's a really easy DIY, but it's not something that I would have thought of. So I just got a pair of basic white cotton baby socks with a bell sewn onto the end. I would assume from the feel of it, it's a plastic sphere with a bell inside and then coated in material. So it looks really solid. There's no way that bell is coming out, which is, you know, essential with small babies that nothing's a choking, choking risk. There's a blue one and a yellow one. And they have a different pitch of rattle for each one. So I think they're really cute. We'll see when he starts moving his legs and kicking a little bit more in the next couple of months, how we go with those. Next is the Tummy Time Wobbler. Now this is the piece I probably wasn't as keen on because it is solid plastic and we also have something that is already very similar. The Roly Poly Pear from the German toy brand Made Up, which is wood. Um, it's much, the Made one is much smaller. The Love Everyone is quite big. Um, they're probably similar in weight, but what I did notice when I glanced through the play guide is that they showed you an option for using this in a, a tray of water, which means that as much as I'm not a huge fan of plastic toys, that's a point in its favour. Alright, I've got my little companion helping me. This is Freddy. Can you say hi? You're not that sure? And the final item in the kit, do you want that back or are you okay? You want that back, is the spinning rainbow. Um, this is like the the more classic Montessori material, the spinning drum, but it, it is flat, so the panels don't have glittery or reflective panels on them. The idea is that you, when your baby is sitting up, they're going to use two hands to, to spin that and to propel it and to get both the visual stimulation of the colours and just the sound of the bell. Is this kit worth it? This kit retails at $80 US and that includes believe that's free shipping within the United States. Obviously, I'm in Australia. It's not free shipping. Love Every don't even ship to Australia, but I decided to try it and shipping it to Australia was, yeah, <laughs> not good. <laughs> so obviously, if you are within the US and this is shipped to you for free, I think this is a really, really good starting point. From what I'm looking at and from my experience with other toy brands, the quality looks really good. I can't see any loose threads on the items. They all look really, really well made. The colors are lovely. Their items are representative of diversity, which is also a point in their favor. I think that some of them are a little bit on the basic side. So the, the wobbly toy, yes, because it's plastic, you can use it in water, but is that essential? Could it have been an item that was not made of plastic? Very possibly. In terms of longevity, this box is supposed to last your child for two months. I can see the items like the tissue box and the drum lasting longer than that and the jingly socks being available earlier. You know, books are fascinating for kids for ages. The one item that I probably think is not, is a bit of a waste of space and I'm not that excited about is the ball. I just, I don't know. It's, it looks good, but because it doesn't roll really, it seems a bit pointless. We could put it in a basket of, of other balls with different colors and textures and then you've got a little bit more richness to that play because you can have a bit of contrast between the options available but on its own it's not something that I'm going to get super excited about. The pros of Love Every in my opinion, the items are really well made. These are durable, they're solid, they're well painted, there's no splinters, there's no flaking paint. The only item that perhaps wasn't in perfect condition is my play guide, which is just cardboard and the edges are, they look a bit chewed, probably from damage in transit. So they could have thought about making those a little bit tougher, but overall the quality is amazing. The variety that's gone into putting out stuff that's visually stimulating, stuff that's physically stimulating, stuff that stimulates the different senses, when I mean, the kit is called the sensor, duh, uh, is definitely there. And the fact that they provide people with some guidance as to the use of these. So if you're somebody who hasn't done a lot of research into toys and children's development and you want to know that you are meeting your child's needs for a particular developmental period without nerding out on this stuff, um, then this is a really, really great starting point. 
I think with all play kits, you have to assume that there's going to be some things that you expect your child to go for and they, they just don't. That's the case with any toys that you buy. Some things you buy and think this is going to be marvellous and the kid doesn't give it a second glance. Some things you think are going to be you know, a one week wonder and your kid's still into them two, week, two years later. So you do have to be prepared for some things to be a hit and some things to be a miss. Cons, obviously the cost. The cost of the kits on their own is not cheap. Shipping to Australia is astronomical plus the exchange rate. So if you're an Australian like me, it's probably not going to be something that you're going to be able to do unless you're really, really committed to the idea and this is your first kid and you want you know, the items to last through however many babies you're going to have. You've also got some items in the box, they're a little less exciting. Overall, would I recommend the sensor kit from Love Every? Yes, I would. So even though my little guy hasn't used it yet, I can see enough of the materials that have been through the stages of, of a child, of a baby's development once already, so I can see how these items are going to appeal. I think that there's been a lot of thought put into meeting the child where they're at and the quality of the materials is great. I love that they're primarily natural materials. There's only a little bit of plastic, which is you know, a real value of ours to try and limit our plastic use and go from primarily natural materials in our toys that we know that they're much better for the child's senses as well as the environmental impact that we have. And I think that you can tell by Love Every's packaging as well that they go above and beyond for trying to, to commit to a, a less environmentally damaging practice. I will come back to you with an update after we have used these toys and let you know how we go. Okay, so it is now January 2022. Freddie is nine and a half months old and I thought I would take you through our Love Every The Sensor Kit for months five and six now that we've had time to use everything and give you my final thoughts on it. So the first item that we got use of were the jingle socks. Um, these are great. He used these from really early on his back and on his tummy and he really got the hang of intentionally kicking to make sounds. So yep, total win. Um, the book, useful for tummy time. It did keep his interest for a reasonable amount of time, um, but definitely less longevity in the long term like it's really good for those few months and as one that they can access themselves he's now into like turning pages and, and closing the book really quickly uh, but fairly simple and so you know in terms of its its long-term use it's probably not one that we would come back to a lot but still a nice a nice one for that time period um, this one was quite surprising I thought that since we already had the made a roly poly pair that this one wouldn't be very interesting but this ended up actually being favorite of the two and I ended up selling the Mater. Um, so I think it was something about the, the size and weight of this one as opposed to the Mater, which was smaller and lighter. He really, really enjoys um, kicking it and pushing it around, but also picking it up and, and mouthing it and dropping it. The spinning drum. Now this one has only been in use probably the last one to two months since he's been confidently sitting. Um, we did try it as a tummy time toy, but he, he wasn't really super into it. Now he will sit and, and rotate it, but it certainly didn't fall into that five to six month old uh, age for us. So for us, this has only come into its own recently, but he definitely has been getting enjoyment out of it. And it is, it is, you know, it's functionally very nice. It's beautifully made and it's gonna last a long time. The Magic Tissue Box. So this was probably the one that I really wanted out of the set. and. Actually, it's ended up being my least favorite item. So Freddie will pull a tissue out or pull two tissues out, but then he's kind of just ditching the box around and inevitably like dropping it on his foot or something and hurting himself. Um, the person who's been most into this toy has been Violet and she will pull out the tissues and just like use them as blankets for her dolls. I find them all over the house. <laughs> so they're mildly annoying in that respect, but also I find they don't, they don't really stay together. So. I thread them in as instructed, but they, they tend to sort of separate in the process of pulling them out rather than um, acting like a normal tissue would. I kind of wish they were like uh, press studs or something to join them on rather than the loops. I did contemplate selling it, but I actually think I might turn this into a function, an item for our um, Montessori self-care area and make this an actual box of functional tissues because she does use handkerchiefs, but she's only got a few of them and adult size handkerchiefs are a little bit tricky so I might just say that this is for wiping your nose and, and leave it at that and turn it into a functional item instead since it didn't really hit the mark as a toy and finally the rainbow ball like when I was unboxing this I was like oh well it's just a, a colorful ball who cares um 
but it has become a fave. It's a nice size and shape for playing with indoors. I mean, I don't mind if it gets thrown, it's unlikely to do any damage. Uh, they both enjoy playing with it and because it's quite grippy um, with the little segments, it's kind of like an orange, uh, Freddie can easily pick it up and attempt to throw it or attempt to catch it as well. So this has been an unexpected win. So look, of the box, I would say that, you know, what have we got? Five of the six items have been, oh, four of the six items have been great. One item has been good and this item has been less of a favorite. So overall, it's a really good win. And look, I can't fault the quality of any of the items. They're gonna last absolutely for ages. The kids do enjoy them and I think they are very cleverly designed. So definitely recommend the five to six month the sensor kit from Love Every, and I'm sure we will be back to some more Love Every purchases in the future. They've hinted that they may be doing international shipping at some point, so if that happens, we will definitely be looking into the cost of that because the parcel forwarding services, just plus the exchange rate, really do make the, the cost prohibitive for Australian families at the moment, toy enthusiasts or not. Thanks for joining me for another toy review. If you have any items or brands that you would like to see me review, please leave a comment below. Or if you'd like to add anything about your own experience with Love Every, I'd love to hear it. See you next time.